Speaking of good cards, uh, Tentacle for Arms is not one of those cards. Uh, 5 mana, 2-2, two, two. Death Rattle, return this to your hand. Infinite value! Well, kinda. It is indestructible, because the ways to destroy weapons are Harrison Jones and Asix Vambus. And uh, when you use those cards on this, it gets destroyed, which triggers the death rattle. So it literally is indestructible. There's no way to, to remove this besides from like having having a full hand when the when the weapon gets destroyed. Because in that case, it, can, it can't return to the hand because the hand is full, but you can avoid that. So uh, you, it kind of has infinite value in that sense, but the mana cost is so miserable. Like, why is it five mana? Like you need so much time to play this card, so like the only time where where you can where you can get value out of this really would be in a control match where you're playing against like let's say another control warrior or against the priest or something where you literally have like an infinite time you just kind of like would keep playing this and playing this and playing this when the game like drags really long but because like in order to be able to deal like 12 damage with which is uh which is like not even that much. You would have to spend 15 mana on it, and against any like a, any normal or decent deck, you just don't have the time. And uh, I'm so sad because I wanted to make like this deck, but I guess it's frustrating to play against. If this was let's say like a three mana card, maybe it would be too easy to get to keep playing it all the time. And like uh, it feels bad to lose something that you can't uh, can't get rid of at anyhow. But I'm I'm going to be playing this. I'm going to be trying it out, but. I don't expect to have any success with it, just because of how expensive it is in relation to the effect. Infest, 3 mana, hunter card. Give your minions death rattle, add a random beast to your hand. Um, yeah, I mean... I, I kinda don't wanna talk about this, I don't like... Situational, conditional... Adds random stuff like random beast. We are like I think that we should be like done on the random beast thing. Like it's 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 been like I've had enough of the random beast thing from web spinner and uh, ram wrangler and web of I don't know what like what is it called? ball spiders like all that stuff. It's just there's enough randomness already. It's just I, I I don't like this. Like you have to you pay three mana basically to like lose tempo because you because it doesn't do anything like you even eventually we are when your minions die you get those to you get those cards to your hand not to the board so it doesn't like affect the board anyway you are also you have to have minions that are like alive from when you played you could add six mana you could like unleash the hounds and infest and whoa crazy value that's uh sounds sounds very cool but i don't think it's going to be a competitive thing at all in some kind of like super slow meta, maybe you can like try to like play some kind of value hunter and and I probably will and I might have some fun with it too, like some kind of value hunter with the like with that mentioned combo like un unleash infest if 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 the matches are very slow and long. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna I, I don't want to see uh, like a add a random beast to your hand thing like ever again if I, if it was me printing the cards. All right, now we're getting the good stuff. <sighs> Ragnaros, Light Lord, 8 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight. What happened, Rag? It used to sp spit fire. Uh, at the end of your turn, restore 8 health to your da damage friendly character. 8 mana card. Very expensive. Has an immediate effect. Woo! When, a, when, a, when a, like an expensive legendary has an immediate effect or guaranteed value of some sort, that's where the card becomes good. The only thing about this is that it's a Paladin card. And Paladin has stuff at 8 mana already, so... If it was like for a different class, you'd be like, oh my god, I would like be playing it like, but that's probably why it is there, because if it was for a different class, it would be like an auto-include in some cases, like uh, maybe in Shaman or, or so. So uh, it is Paladin card. You have Tyrion at 8 mana, which you're not cutting. You can play both, but then it's hard to fit in Leon Hands, which is another thing that you can cast on turn 8. And uh, having 3 8 mana plays, it's kind of weird. Casting, getting the 8 heal immediately, Ragnaros also can attack. If a, if a big game hunter nerf is coming, like 8-8 eight, eight for 8 is going to be very good. Most of the 8-8s eight, cost like 9 mana, or at least don't have like an effect uh, Effect this good. It's it's a it's a really awesome card for like a control paladin. Quite often it's going to heal yourself, like you don't have, an, have a damage minion on the board. It's like a, yeah, or, or if you do, maybe you can trade it away when you play this to make sure you heal yourself. And uh, 8 healing is enough um, 
to like be impactful. If it was like five healing, you'd be like, oh, you play this and you heal yourself and you still die. But it it should be like enough to keep your life for another turn unless your opponent has like a massive board. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, you know, like you know, controlled paladin. Maybe in some cases you can replace the lay on hands with uh, like a cheaper mana card draw effects and uh, maybe you can heal your your uh, way to victory if uh, BGH gets nerfed. If BGH got, does not get nerfed, I would just like never play this because Paladin does not naturally have any big game hunter targets necessarily after Doc, Doctor Boom is gone. So you would just rather play lay on hands in that case. You get to heal whatever you want, and your opponent's big game hunter is just gonna sit in their hand the entire game if they if they wanna hold on to it. Cult Apothecary, 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. For each enemy minion, restore 2 health to your hero. So the new heal, but or, or what is it? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, against aggro, sure, you can you get to like restore a decent amount of health. It also has better stat line than the heal bot does, but I, I think this is a weaker card overall. Even uh, with that, because it, it, uh, it is a little bit conditional. I could imagine something like a uh, Reno Warlock, for example, uh, could, could probably play this because uh, you you have more room and uh, we're getting some space at five mana now because the heal bots and the Belcher, which used to be auto includes, are not there anymore. So you have to play something at five mana, some five mana minions. Both of also going away, so so there's gonna be a lot of space at five. It's gonna be interesting to see what what cards uh, fill that gap. Uh, when your opponent has a lot of minions on the board, it's usually better to kill them than uh, than heal and like because uh, the minions on average have like two or more attacks. So by healing, it's just gonna hit you for another two next turn, and then you just like oh well that kind of negates one attack from me from each minion in that way. So I would just rather rather kill them. But I think uh, I think it's going to be a reasonable uh, Reno Warlock card. Mukla, Tyrant of the Veil, six mana five five. Add two bananas to your hand. Toshley was a 5-7 and this is a 5-5, Toshley never got played, I, uh, I think that Sylvanas, Windrunner and uh, Emperor Thorison are going to be better cards in most cases, but there is that one, one exception for this, which is uh, which is Tempo Mage, that does play cards like Flame Maker, Archmage and Denidas. Yeah, you can turn bananas into fireballs with, the, with that deck. And uh, that could that could really work. That deck also doesn't have that much to do at six mana in general, so it it feels it feels pretty good. It kind of like fits in the curve, kind of nicely too. And uh, yeah, with with those uh, those synergies, it it could be playable in in the image. Overall, so I don't I don't think it's like not anything crazy, because uh, yeah, Toshley didn't see play and it was seven toughness, so probably a bad card in most cases. Maybe playable in uh, the image. Shadow Word Horror. Destroy all minions with uh, two or less attack for four mana. Alright, I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, anti acro card. Definitely depends on the meta. Like, whether you play this or not, depends what classes you are playing against. And if they have a lot of minions with, <coughs> with two or less attack, yeah, it's fine. But the thing is, it's two or less. It's not three or less like Shadow Word Pain is. So, you don't kill Knife Juggler. You don't kill. You don't really kill like that many things. You don't even kill a flaming, which is one drop with this. So it seems very unreliable. But maybe situationally it can work out okay. Like if you, if the meta is right, you might play this. But it's just if it was three or less attack, I get. I think it would be too powerful. But two or less might be too weak. So uh, I think I think it might be too weak. But maybe it gets played somewhere sometime. Mark of Usari. No, nope. yeah, two mana. Give a minion plus two plus two. If it's a beast, draw a card. Like, oh, stop! It's like, please, just abandon. Please, or please, abandon the beast thing. Like, I don't want to see it anymore. Like, I don't want to play beast through it. That's so boring. It's so stupid. Um, I don't know. Like, yeah, if you play a beast through it, like this is, this is, this is a good card in a beast through it, but. Are you gonna play a beast through it? Like we need more than this. Like there's so many problems with beast through it. I don't. This is not enough to fix that. The beast through it still needs a lot more cards. But this is like one of the tools. If we if we get like what happened with Paladin was like Paladin was was pretty bad again before uh, before uh, GVG was it? Yeah. And then they got Avenge, Minibot, and Master for Battle. So 
then they become like really strong. So if uh, if like Beast Druid gets that treatment and they get three good Beast cards immediately, okay, I think Beast Druid is gonna be there. But this is like one in three. Like this is not gonna be enough to make Beast Druid a thing. But if they get three good cards, yeah, okay, this is one of those three. And uh, yeah, we might just have a new arch type at our hand. But yeah, good card in Beast Druid, but Beast Druid is bad for now. Scaled Nightmare, 6 mana, 2, 8. At the start of your turn, double this at minions and like... Yeah, okay. Um, I kind of like this card in some ways because I played a fair bit of Dragon decks and it's like the, I want to play Dragon at 6 mana and uh, there's like nothing to play. I actually don't think it's a very good card overall. It might be because the 8 toughness for a 6 mana minion is like pretty good and, and there's a clear gap at 6 mana for for dragon theme. Um, it's not as good if, you, if your opponent is like ahead on the board, but if you are playing this on an empty board, it's going to, it's very likely to survive to the next turn. So effectively you are playing a, a 6 mana 4-8 with, with an ability that's going to even like keep ramping up, so... Yeah, I, I, I uh, do, do think in dragon decks and there might be a uh, like place for this. I don't know if it's going to be like auto include if it's that good, but in some dragon druids, uh, dragon druids, well, in some dragon decks, I don't know what class, but yeah, should be should be fine. Just uh, fits the mana cost is really great and the toughness is really good. The ability is reasonable as well. Steward of Darkshire, three mana, three three. Whenever you uh, summon a one health minion, give it divine shield. So whenever you sh summon a minion, not when you play a minion. There's a huge difference there because that means that um, it's going to work with the hero power and uh, this is pretty good card I, I think the, for um, for decks that play one health minions is it going to be enough to like uh, make you wanna fill your deck with one health minions I'm not sure we'll see like you play Sautzi deck and Lepernome all that kind of stuff uh, Master of Battle is drifting out of the standard format um, but. Yeah, if you have a reasonable amount of those, uh, like one one toughness minions, if you're playing a divine aggro deck with a lot of one health minions, this might this might be a thing. It does protect those one health minions from their divine favor effects. So, yeah, you know, like a phase paladin where you play one drops on divine favor, probably a good card. What else could you play with it? Um, you could play like a, yeah, but a divine favor deck anyway. Like kind of curving out, uh, curving very low, and uh, this almost being the most expensive card in the deck. Just have some buffs, and uh, maybe you play Stone Dusk Bore with the uh, Steward, and at five mana you're gonna like Steward and play, play the Bore and give it Blessing of Might, and there you have it, four one Charger with Divine Shield, not too bad. Skerm Cultist, six mana seven six. Battle cry, give your cut 2 and plus 2 plus 2 wherever it is. This card is like so boring, I don't even. If Big Game Hunter is a thing, you can never play this. If it's not, well, maybe if Big Game Hunter gets nerfed, it's like not horrible. Um, Yeah, if Big Game Hunter gets nerfed, you can play this in a cartoon deck. Probably going to be an auto include in, in cartoon team decks. It's not a great card, it's not good enough to be played if you don't have cartoon. If you have cartoon, you have to play some some uh, <clears throat> some worshippers and this might be some of the better ones. Because it does have a fair bit of toughness and uh, if the 7 attack is not like a downside to it. Yeah, probably a, a, a good worshipper to have. Gobbleist Storm, 5 mana. Spell for mages. Add three random mage spells to your hand. Huge tempo loss. Gives you value. Mage spells in general are pretty good. That's actually a huge deal about this card. We don't. I don't know if you can get like cards like duplicate and uh, and echo of Medivh. Those cards are going out of standard. So if you play this in standard deck, I would imagine that you are probably not getting them those uh, old cards unless there's some bugs. You know, Reno Mage, for example. Sure, this seems like a like a fair uh, late game uh, option because you do have to play thirty different cards. Reno Mage is a, is a deck that, that could very well be be viable or playable. I would I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Reno Mage was a thing. 
So uh, this would be a fine card in that versus last late game option to add more value, to be able to like outlast your opponent uh, efficiently. For Tempo Mage, no, like you don't, you can't play, spend five mana with no immediate effect. You just rather play an Azure Drake, Ethereal Conier, some of that stuff, or um, a anything else, like a five mana minion. You, you can't spend five mana, because uh, the name of the deck is Tempo Mage, so you want to have like good tempo, and this is like the exact opposite. This is like horrible tempo. This is like the worst tempo, it's value, not tempo, so yeah. Uh, I could guard in like a value mage thing if, if that ever is a thing. You saw Rage Unbound. At the end of your turn, put a minion from your deck into the battle for them and attend them. <sighs> Come on. Like, I had so much, so like high hopes that every single of these like old, old cards, because there's four old cards, I had very high hopes that they would all be very good and you just like. Have cool deck building around all of them, but this is like this is a huge disappointment for me personally. I don't think it's gonna be any good. If Big Game Hunter does not get nerfed, this is completely unplayable. If Big Game Hunter, uh, yeah, if Big Game Hunter exists as it is, this is going to be completely unplayable. If Big Game Hunter gets nerfed, then it might work. But this is like playing ten mana for a for a co for a minion that doesn't have an immediate effect, like. And if end of turn, it's it's not immediate. Like it doesn't affect the board state to get a minion to the battlefield unless it's a taunt that you get. If you get a taunt, then it's uh, then it's kind of like a faster, I suppose. But uh, in order to be playing a ten mana minion, your deck needs to be have like a kind of like polarized um, curve in in a way that your early game is very like a uh, very strong and like very like focused on on dealing with early game and uh, early game threats, which means you have to play cards like Doomsayer and like all sorts of like weak cards for the late game to have a strong early game to survive to the late game so there has to be a lot of like low mana minions because there's simply not enough spells in any class to only have a uh, like big minions you and if you have small minions you might get a two chop from this and then it just like backfires and it's not worth it by any any stretch of imagination so um play you sorry you only have big minions that's not it's not a good formula expensive unreliable bad ancient harbinger six mana four six at the start of your turn put a 10 cost minion from your deck into your hand so it's like a tutor effect for your cartoon you can find your cartoon um you can also find your usari or um, the or enzot if you're playing multiple of those you have a bad deck but you you could find like if the both of them <coughs> or more if you if you have this alive for multiple turns. Six mana, four, six. Not really spectacular. The, the effect happens at the beginning of the turn, so this might get eliminated and uh, like killed immediately when you play it, and you just never get that ten cost thing. I wish the stat line was a little bit like uh, weaker, and it would the effect would be guaranteed. Like, it would be reliable, like with reliable cards, and this is not a reliable card. I I, I don't think it's very good, but. If you have a deck that can some, somehow set up set it up so that you get to play this on an empty board, yeah, you could like increase your chances of uh, having uh, having the cartoon played in reasonable time. But I don't I don't think this is any any match for the cards like Ember Thorism and Sylvanas Windrun that are kind of like clocking up the six mana space alongside some some of the great class cards. So yeah, clearly a synergy card for the old cards, but not that good one I think. That's all. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to leave your some uh, like feedback, some comments. What do you think? Which cards did I underestimate? Which cards were going to be better than I thought? Uh, I know that I trashed on most of the cards as if they're not very good. Some of the cards are going to be better than expected because the power level of Nax Ramas and uh, GBG were very high and those sets are going out. So basically everything that seems like it's really weak right now is going to be slightly better going forward. But um, once more cards get re released, I will uh, record more of these. Thanks and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Never mind, no need to worry. That's all just a story of the whispers of the old gods.